Today I'm going to talk a little bit about my approach to macromastia or breast reductions. Obviously there are different kinds of patients that you will see with different sized breasts. And each patient needs to have an operation tailored to their specific needs, their desire and willingness to accept scars, and what their end result will be. Obviously some women will come in with breasts that are slightly larger than they want, but they refuse scars and liposuction of their breast will lead to a smaller breast with very small scars. Some of the skin will actually retract, so it's a very reasonable option in select patients. The second group of patients are those who aren't willing to accept a horizontal scar. They want just a vertical scar. These women can be done through a vertical mammoplasty. Although that's not my preferred technique, I do use it on patients who want small reductions or are going to have aug mastopexies. Another one of our presenters will present their experience with vertical breast reductions. The operation that I tend to use the most is the old-fashioned Wise pattern, which is an anchor scar, a scar around the nipple, straight down and underneath the breast. Why do I like this approach? It gets the best perky breast. It's firm, it is not saggy, and I've had very good experience not having bottoming out. When, when I tried using vertical mastopexies early on, there was somewhere near a 20 to 30% revision rate where people had to have a second operation and have a transverse scar to give them an appropriate looking breast. The problem is, who's going to pay for it? Certainly not insurance, and the patient doesn't want to pay for it. So the question is, is it something you're willing to accept and have to take care of for the patient? So a standard breast reduction is what we're going to demonstrate today. You're going to meet one of my patients and we'll show you how we perform the operation. And we'll show you what we see as before and after consistent results. We'll demonstrate some before and after patients that we've operated on over the years. Typically we perform about 200 breast reductions a year, so our practice as a whole, which does about 500 breast reductions a year, has a very significant experience in macromastia.